Hello, and welcome to Show Me Cables. Today we'll be taking a look at reverse polarity coax connectors. Coax connectors come in a variety of different shapes and styles, and the most common problem when identifying them is when it comes to reverse polarity. The most common connectors available in reverse polarity are BNC, SMA, TNC, and N connectors. Just as a quick recap on coax connectors, they will typically come in either a male or female orientation. As an example, let's take a look at an N connector. A standard male connector will have threads on the inside of the housing and a solid male pin. A standard female connector will have threads on the outside of the housing and a hollow female pin. What causes confusion is that many people think that identifying the gender of the connector has to do with whether or not it has a male or female pin, which is not the case. The gender of the connector is actually identified by the threads on the connector housing, and the polarity is what is identified by the pin. Keep that in mind, polarity is for pin. If the gender of the pin doesn't match the gender of the housing, that is what makes it reverse polarity. Let's take a look at an example using an SMA connector. This connector has threads on the outside, making it a female connector. Remember, the threading will always identify the gender of the connector. The pin of the connector is solid, which means that it is a male pin and does not match the gender of the connector. This means that the connector is reverse polarity. Now we've identified that the connector is female and we know that it is reverse polarity. So we can correctly identify this is a reverse polarity SMA female connector. There's one more issue that needs to be cleared up though. I mentioned previously that BNC is available in reverse polarity as well, but BNC does not have threads. The connector housing of a BNC can be identified by how the connector locks. If the housing has a locking channel, its gender is male. If the housing has locking bolts, the gender is female. Polarity is still identified using the pin. Here is a connector with a locking channel housing, making it a male connector. A hollow pin making the pin female, which does not match the gender of the connector making it reverse polarity. So we have a reverse polarity BNC male connector. All right, one more time real quick. Threading identifies gender. Pin is for polarity. Threads on the inside equals male. Threads on the outside equals female. For BNC, channels are male, bolts are female. A solid pin is male, a hollow pin is female. And if the genders of the pins and the housings do not match, then it is reverse polarity. Got it? Hopefully this has answered any questions you may have had on reverse polarity coax connectors. If you still have any questions, you can give our customer service department a call at 888-519-9505. For all of your cable and connector needs, choose Show Me Cables.